We got a garage full of trim. We got a garage full of doors. We got stuff for shelving. Ball, raise me up, brother. Curl it in so I don't fall. Please let us find this. Please, Jesus, this sewer tap, Jesus. Please, Jesus, amen. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. I am super duper excited this morning because, check it out, we got a garage full of trim, we got a garage full of doors, we got stuff for shelving. We are going to get a ton of work done and I'm super excited about that. Literally everything we need, I think we're missing one pantry door, which they will get here. And then all the other houses are also getting delivered with all the trim and all the doors. My man Francisco came in with his guys, man, they got everything primed. Let's jump in the house real quick and kind of show you what's going on because right now everything is going according to plan and in construction, typically that is not how it goes. It does not go according to plan. But as of right now, it is going according to plan. We're gonna get all of these interior doors installed. They're gonna get the shelving up, things like that, all the way upstairs, through the bottom. Um, basically, first floor, second floor, everything is ready to go. We're gonna get our actual baseboards down. We're gonna get anything around any of the doorways where there might not be a door, like right here. Um, just get everything figured out. Make sure we get the crown in the living room slash kitchen that goes back through here. I forgot to tell you about that. But we are actually gonna do like a cove crown all the way through here that matches the cabinets as they'll have crown on top of them as well so just a lot of goodness going on man we're gonna jump back in the garage I think if I'm not mistaken we have 17 doors in total in this entire house and basically I think this is gonna be a two-day job for the trim guys per house so two four six about a week in a couple days um, with some touch-up stuff and we're just gonna see what happens get Francisco back in here to get that first coat of paint on it but Super excited to see all this come together, man. Once you get all these doors on and everything, it starts feeling like a literal home. So anyways, enough talking for me. The guys are about to show up and we'll get them working. Already also as the trim guys are inside knocking out a ton of stuff I'm out here just ran off to Bobcat they've got me another mini excavator we got the e35 right here what we're gonna do with this and we got the two-foot bucket we're gonna dig the sewer lines the water lines might have to wait off on the water because once they hook that up there's no way of getting water which we will need for painters and stuff like that so we'll at least try to get these sewer dug out the sewer tap we're trying to find them we think we found the one over here um, on the property for the greenhouse we need to find the first one and the second one um, and we just got to figure it out i mean you go off the plan the, the thing was done like 50 to 60 years ago so you're hoping that it's where they said it was uh typically it's in a five foot to ten foot radius shoot one time at my house we were looking man we it felt like we were digging to china we dug out so much me and paul and then finally man it was actually where it wasn't supposed to be we found it whatever life goes on but anyways big shout out to bobcat again bobcat of chattanooga and knoxville thank you so much we got this rental equipment we're going to use this knock out these ditches and basically we're just going to get these houses trimmed out all the doors and all this dirt work done so let's do it
All right, y'all, so as I started digging, I realized very quickly that this two foot bucket would literally dig so much out of here. So we've got this pipe right here, which we think is a part of the sewer tap. It makes sense on the drawing. It shows that's where it is. It's so far from the road and so close to the house. We're like, man, surely not. This can't be the actual sewer tap because literally, I mean, the asphalt's over there and it's just far away. So regardless, I was like, hey, I called Bobcat. I was like, hey, Mr. David and Reynolds, can I come get a 12 inch bucket instead of this 24 inch bucket so we can scrape away slowly and not take out so much dirt? He's like, come on by. He showed me how to take it off. So I'm actually going to take off this 24 inch bucket, put on the 12 inch bucket and then start scraping away slowly to see if this actually is the sewer tap or somebody just randomly put a schedule 40c um, pipe down here so and we'll see what happens i don't know if this is it or not but this is a part of the process where you just got to keep digging and you'll see what happens as uh, dory says in finding nemo just keep swimming but we're just gonna keep digging so let me get to work Alrighty y'all, just like that, we've changed out the pin. Big shout out to Mr. David down in Reynolds for showing me how to do that because that would have been way more difficult uh, if he didn't show me that. So anyways, I'm gonna start digging back, seeing what we can find, and from there, we'll just keep it moving. Alrighty y'all, check this out man. The trim guys are knocking it out right now. We already got doors up man, almost all of them to be honest. I think upstairs they're done. They've got the one right here under the stairs. I mean, check this out, man. And again, we go, I have a certain style, man. So what I like is I like the one by fours on the side, the one by six on top right there with about a three quarter inch hangover. And then what I like is this smooth little, nice little notch in the door right there. Very smooth, very sleek. They're killing it right now. My man Horacio Antonio upstairs. They got another guy with him. They actually worked on the duplex. Um, he just runs off to Mexico every now and then, comes back, goes on vacation, comes back. So he's living the best life right now. Horacio. I want to be like you when I grow up. I want to be like you when I grow up. One day, I want to be like Horacio, okay? Yeah. One day. Yeah. Un dia. Un dia. Un dia. Yeah, hey, all I can do is hope, okay? okay? He's doing a great job, though. They're getting all the window stools in. Let's jump upstairs real quick, man. Pablo. Oh, yeah. We got Pablo, Antonio, Horacio. We got everybody working hard, man. But check this out. We got sliding closet doors in the guest bedrooms upstairs. These look freaking awesome. Very excited that they were able to get all this. Again, one by four, one by six on top. We went with the split jam doors where they come already pre-assembled. They just basically put them in, replace everything. Um, and we've got like little closet doors through here and everything like that. And all the doors are done all the way through all these rooms. So they're killing it right now. They're getting this nice little shelf on top of that knee wall right above the stairs, getting all the baseboard down and everything like that. But enough talking for me, let's get them working. Oh yeah, baby. Finally, seven feet later, y'all, we found gravel, which typically means you found the sewer tap. 
we found it. We found gravel. Um, we actually had to dig it out a little bit more so we have more space to work in there. I'm probably going to jump down there. I don't want Paul getting in there. I assume all the risk if I need to, except when climbing trees, not my thing. So Paul's got that one when his knee actually recovers and he has his surgery. So I'm going to jump down there. Hopefully we can find this sewer tap. Get all this figured out, man. We got a lot going on, man. This, this right now, this sewer situation, we got a lot of electrical we got to run. We got water. So it's just going to be this number right here. But regardless, let us jump in there, get this thing figured out. And we'll just keep it moving. All right, y'all, I'm down here in this ditch. I'm a little nervous, I ain't gonna lie. People that work in this kind of environment, I respect y'all. I just wanna make sure I find this. I still don't see it. Yeah, so I'm gonna jump out of here. We're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper and get this thing found. It's in the lost and found right now. That's what's going on. Ball, raise me up, brother. Curl it in so I don't fall. Yes, sir. Oh, elevator shaft, that's all it is. I'm gonna dig down a little more, see if I can't scoop that out. Cause digging through that gravel down there, boy, it's a little scary, I ain't gonna lie to you. Safety third, safety third, I mean first. Alrighty y'all, so we are here the next day and what we're gonna do today after digging basically to China, seven and a half feet down, finding that tap right there, we're gonna dig our electrical lines from the houses, from the meter box all the way to where that handhole is and then the other house over there where the transformer box is and then the house over there to the other handhole that's by that truck right there. So we're gonna get all that dug out cause I gotta do this in different stages or else it just makes you go crazy cause you got plumbing coming out in the same area where electrical's coming out and then you got water lines that are gonna be crossing over. So you gotta do this in different stages. We'll start with the electrical being the lowest, then the plumbing being on top of that, probably a foot, and then the water being on top of that, probably a foot. So I'll be four to five feet down in total with the electrical and everything like that. I've actually called that in. We'll get that dug out today. We'll just move it forward. The guys are actually starting on the second house with the trim work all the doors and everything like that. My man Horacio got another crew out here. Um, big shout out to Black and White Construction and just getting all my guys out here, man. They're just doing a phenomenal job. Everything is moving great. And we're just gonna continue moving, making more progress and just getting this job done. So let me get to work. Alrighty y'all, so right here, literally what we're doing is, we got our trim guy, Horacio, and he was like, yo, that's kind of cool, you're digging and stuff. I was like, you wanna try? He's like, yeah, so I jump out. Now he's driving the mini excavator. We've already got two ditches dug for electrical lines. He's gonna start digging our third one for us. Maestro, we'll go all the way over there to the uh, meter box, okay? He just jumped in, he said, I'm ready. You never know when you need to drive an excavator, so why not learn on Nico's property show, right? Hey, this means stop, okay? So anytime somebody do like that, no, 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 that's okay. It's a, no, you gotta learn. You're working for me now. Man, he said he's gotta go back to work. He doesn't wanna dig. It's okay. But I still, good job, man. Anyways, we're gonna jump in. Last ditch right here. Get that ran to that handhole. And basically, EPB is gonna come out the next day. Drop our wires, the EPB uh, wires as well for the fiber. And we're just gonna keep it moving. So let me jump in.
All right, y'all. So I'm over here, and there's a truck of gravel behind me. You see him. He's pulling in to drop it off for us right now. And I walk over here, and look what I see. This hole is dug, but this is the proper digging technique right here. What are you doing, sir? I'm doing what I got to do to get the job done. Yeah, I don't know exactly what he's doing, but I guess it's working. He hasn't fallen off yet, but let's hope he stays inside the excavator. Okay, he's doing a great job, okay? Any last words? God bless America. And this job site, thank you. All right, y'all, so unfortunately, we have been looking for the third sewer tap for so long at this point. Right now, MC Plumbing just jumped out. They're getting the first sewer tap locked in or tied in to the second house, which is in the middle right there. I'm gonna go try digging another hole. Let's go over there and just show them what's going on, um, what we already dug. It's crazy, man. We're trying to find this thing. We followed the map. We got the map from the city that tells you where it is, but unfortunately, it's not working out the way we want it to. If you look in that ditch, that's where it's supposed to be at three and a half feet deep. And we dug down like eight feet to nine feet, honestly, and about 15 feet across, and it's still not there. So I'm gonna dig a whole nother ditch right here. Hopefully we can find the sewer tap for this first house, man, because if not, you gotta get somebody with like a sewer camera that crawls through the main and like it finds it, or if it doesn't, then the city's gotta come out, tap one in. Hopefully whoever installed this 50 years ago just put a sewer tap somewhere, and we're gonna find it right now. Lord, please, Jesus, please, 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 please Jesus, Please let us find this. Please, Jesus, the sewer tap. Jesus, please, Jesus, amen. Okay, let me work. Alrighty y'all, so all of the trim is completely done in all three houses. That means the painters are going to be coming out to get everything prepped, but check this out. As Paul walks backwards, man, check out how this looks with the fireplace area, with the shiplap, with this mantle right here, with these shelves. Everything looks so freaking good. I'm so excited to be at this point of the process, man. With the trim guys coming in here, man, my man Lacho or Horacio, whatever you wanna call him, he's got a nickname, I guess, is what they said. Um, so I call him Lachito, man, that's my guy. He did a phenomenal job with his man Antonio, Pablo, his brother, uh, Ciro, all those guys came out, man. Again, shout out Black and White Construction for sending me all my guys. Loving how this looks. We went with the one by six at the bottom for the base right here, as you've been seeing them install all throughout the house. We did go with the crown molding in this living room and the kitchen area and then we just got the window stools here with a little overhang this way and a little overhang this way with the one by four underneath just makes it look nice and then everything around the doors matches exactly the same so i'm super excited to just be at this point with the trim getting this 
done, but we still gotta go finish out all that sewer stuff that we've been working on, waiting on a company to come out, kind of help us out, figure out if we can find that sewer lateral or if there's just a sewer tap. So that might cost a little bit of money, but with this being done, the painters can come in, work on the inside, flooring is coming in, um, delivery and stuff like that. So let's get out there and see if we can find this sewer. All right, y'all, we're out here digging the sewers. The painters are killing it inside, but check it out. This hole is about nine foot deep. This sewer's hooked up. Then we come over here. This sewer is almost hooked up. They started it, but they didn't finish yet. But this sewer is about four foot. And we got one more to go, but we have a problem, okay? The map says it's a four foot. We've dug down 12 foot and there ain't no sewer. Therefore, help. We need help. So I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but let me just show you. Look at the hole he's digging. Expert excavating technique right there. Now that he is safe, this hole is gonna be dug much faster. Anyways, there's the update for you. Well, that's part of construction. So we'll keep you updated. We'll let you know what happens and we'll let you know if we find it. So, so my man JT came out here, man. So right here, Southeast Total Service. We figured out we do have a tap, but we don't have a lateral. Yes. So, but we're good because you're gonna come back out. Your guys yeah. are gonna come out. They're gonna take care of us. Um, we are not equipped. Nico's Property Show is not equipped to be going through, digging all through all this crap. I mean, what is this, probably Paul, 12 foot at down least. right there? At least 12 foot down. JT's like, look, man, let, 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 let me and my guys come out here and handle this. because. I've been telling him the stories of what we've been doing. He's like, let's just calm down. Let's get us out here and we'll be able to get y'all out here and get it taken Gotta care of. Gotta be safe. Right? Gotta be safe. Safety's usually third on our job sites, but with JT, safety's first, as it should be. Gotta have sure. first. Yeah, see, look, we got rules everywhere, JT. <laughs> we, we, we got them all over the place, man, but he's gonna get us taken care of. We'll end out this video soon. We got a lot of progress going on right now, but we do appreciate him coming out, man, getting us taken care of. We're gonna get a plan set in place so we can get all this knocked out as soon as possible, man, because this is a freaking, like, this is not safe at all. I will tell you that right now. This is not safety first with all these ditches open. You do not wanna leave ditches open on your job sites. We've just been in a bind and it is what it is. So. We'll get these covered up, get his guys out here and him, um, and hopefully get this knocked out quickly, then get our guys back out here to tie in that sewer to the house. So let me finish talking to him and then we'll get him out of here and we'll end out this video. y'all so we are going to have to fill this up completely with gravel because this is right where our driveway is i just wanted to show y'all how this is all going to work out a lot of stuff happening man but jt came out we figured out we only have the tap there we don't have the lateral so we're gonna have to backfill this entire ditch which we dug down about 12 to 13 feet me and paul uh, we kept having to go at it. i even had my oldest brother ross come out here man usually has a really good thing at finding sewer taps and we found it, we just don't have a lateral. So it's not coming onto the property. They just capped it off. Um, it's, it is what it is. We're gonna get more gravel into this ditch. Um, and then JT and his squad's gonna come out here, man. And I'm super excited for that just to get this over with, man. I mean, we've just got a lot going on out here. I don't like it. Um, it's just one of those things where, man, there's just too much happening in one area and then there's ditches everywhere. So hopefully we pass the inspection, uh, which we will on the other sewers uh, that they connected to the house over there, the Navy house and the actual greenhouse. And then basically we're just gonna keep it moving, get this one knocked out, get it ran over to the house and just keep it moving. So anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on all social platforms at Nico's Property Show. And if you haven't yet, check out my real estate beginners course. If you wanna get into this kind of world, check out nicos-school.teachable.com and you can learn how to get into what I am into. However, without further ado, smile more, worry less and stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.